And my final interview of day two of Gen Con 2019 is with someone that uh, the gaming gang goes way back with, but we never actually met or spoke. Until today. Until today, very strangely enough, outside. Just randomly. Yeah, just randomly, it was like, wow. Yeah. So, Grant Dugleish Hello. from Columbia, Columbia Games. Games is here with me. And uh, are we in frame? Are we okay? Because Grant seems to be dancing away from me. It's like, hey, my, my deodorant hasn't hasn't let go yet. Not yet. It's uh, all day protection. Yeah. Thank goodness. And you need that around here. Oh, yes, you do. And there are some folks who need to learn that lesson around here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about, uh, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff we can talk about. Let's, let's kick off. Let's talk about the Kickstarter that you've got. You're in the midst of, it is fully funded. Yeah. I believe uh, it runs till the 10th. Yeah, so in that case, you're talking about Richard the Third. I correct. actually have two Kickstarters going at this exact same time. Oh, that's so, right. Okay, one so first, let's talk Richard the Third. Richard the Third. Richard, we're uh, we're Kickstartering a computer platform for Richard the uh, Third, initially for Mac and PC, and it's a fully modern uh, implementation with um, Unity 3D software engine. We're building a block games engine, and we're going to be able to use that for Richard the Third, Julius Caesar. Uh, Crusader Rex, The Lion. Hammer the Scots. Yeah, yeah, those are the top four, actually. Boom, yeah, boom, right. you just there got you it go. right. And, uh, man, it's great. Uh, it, it, I've got the actual working thing um, on my computer, and I've been testing it all the time. There's also a demo on the Kickstarter um, that people can download and play right now, and it plays one of the three campaigns, so you can get a real good feel for it. Uh, and that's free and available right now. And... Uh, you can go to Kickstarter to do it. I'd actually recommend just starting at ColumbiaGames.com, and I have links to both my Kickstarters right there prominently on the front page. And uh, how solid is that AI? Because, I mean, ah. one thing that I, I worry about, especially when you port over a board game to, like, mobile platforms yeah. or PC, Mac, yeah. sometimes the AI is kind of weak. Right. Well, so far, it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm still polishing it. Um, okay. But, uh, actually, it beat me the last time I sat down and played. It, it, it beat me. It's so, your own game. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, you'd think I would know what I'm doing, but uh, it wasn't necessarily that I made mistakes. It just it played right, and it, it, it made less mistakes. We all yes. make mistakes. Of course. Yeah, we're working hard on that. We also have a bit of an idea that the uh, AI will have several levels to it in terms of its personality and whether it's aggressive or not. Right. And uh, that's, that's exciting. It's never been done before in... in in my world, right? right. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it. We will also be adding, a little later down the road, the multiplayer implementation for playing with your buddy on the internet. Okay. okay? That's not going to be in the first release. Um, but something planned down the line. Something planned down the line, especially as the line develops. Uh, it is fully funded. We have 450 backers already. Uh, but we'd love more, especially to, uh, to help develop it as a line. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm so excited. It's, it's kind of a holy grail. Waves of, waves of positive energy are just, just flying right off a grant right now. Yeah. We've wanted this forever, right? Mm -hmm. And it's always been dissatisfying. We've had a few attempts at it, a few different versions of online or computer games sure. out of our games. Even going back to gosh, 1991 or 92, we had a computer east front. And we're talking that long ago. But... This is professional. Yeah. This looks good. It's, it also looks like a board game. That's what's kind of cool. So you have that three-quarter view uh, where the camera is up here, and it can, you can fly the camera like, um, like those multiplayer games that you've seen where you fly the camera right in and zoom around and like, check out the blocks. Yeah. And they actually they rotate, and they do everything that blocks do. It's, it's really cool. Uh, so as you mentioned, you've got two Kickstarters running consecutively. Correct. The other, the other is, is going to be for Horn. Correct, yeah. Our famous Horn line, which is uh, published, started back in 1983 and uh, still going strong 35 years later. Uh, one of the iconic initial Horn releases was called Cities of Horn. And that came out back in 83, 84, I think it was. Um, and. It sold really, really well, and so we, we learned back then that cities are something that people really like, and they can use them with any 
gaming system. And that's one of the, the principles of Harn is it's a system neutral, system agnostic uh, gaming world. Uh, and, and for those who don't know, it is uh, kind of a low fantasy, yeah. a bit, like more, bit more realistic kind of... Gritty and real. I like to say magic rare. Yeah. Yeah, some, some would call it magic weak. I like magic rare uh, because there are opportunities for very powerful wizards to do things. But we would... Not everybody is a wizard. Not everybody is a wizard, and it's uh, society doesn't like wizards. Society thinks of them as witches. Uh, fireball in the street is likely to get you arrested and, and burned. Just like in the real world. Like in the real world. Magic is uh, best done subtly, where something happens and it's unexplained. So in Harn, there's a guild of the arcane lore, the Wizards Guild. They police themselves, and they, they'll shut you down. But powerful magic absolutely exists. It's just rare, kept in check. And so we have a balance between monsters, money, magic, mayhem. They're all there, but they all kind of fit together, and you can... As a game master, you can expand it out as much as you want, but you can also keep it nicely in check. This is a very human-centric kind of an environment with... Uh, and you have a very passionate fan base for Harn, too. I know that... We do. We have uh, a regular group of subscribers who, who uh, have been involved for a long time, and uh, we encourage anyone who wants to check out the Harn Quest subscription because it's a uh, good savings and an opportunity to, uh, to uh, get the whole collection if you want at a very good uh, opportunity price. Uh, but what we're doing right now is an upgraded, expanded, colorized Cities of Harm. And it's, uh, it's going real well. We've got 400 backers there, too. And uh, we've got an opportunity for people to get in for $1. Nice. So you get one of the seven cities okay. for a dollar. And uh, what's more, if you Kickstarter back it right now, I actually deliver it right away. Yeah. Like within 24, 48 hours of you backing it, I deliver it. And the idea there is you check it out. If you're impressed, we're going to hope that you upgrade, get the seven cities. Yeah, that's the thinking. Uh, it's going really well, uh, the reaction to, um, to that and, and our promotion here at Gen Con for uh, a free Harn map, both going very, very well. Uh, so it's, it's been a good show. Oh, yeah, this is always a great show. This is my, my favorite con. I say it all the time. Yeah, there's nothing Any, like it. Anything else cooking from Columbia that you want to share with our audience? Well, we're always working on this and that. Coming up real soon is the delivery for the last Kickstarter that we did, which was Hammer of the Scots. Mm -hmm. So we've got a fourth edition of Hammer of the Scots, and uh, it's coming out this month in August. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the add-ons that we did for that is really cool. It's this new... Uh, expanded, uh, blown up size map of Hammer of the Scots. I've got it up on the wall. I don't know if that in the frame right now. I'll, I'll, I don't think so, uh, but I will. But, uh, well, I will get a shot of it. I got this, and I can just hold it in my hand because it's so cool. I got to hold it the right way up, though. It's just mouse pad material. Yep. And it's flexible, and you can crumple it up, and it always retains its shape. And it's bigger than the average map. So that's an add-on that we did through our Kickstarter. It's also available on our website, and people are really enjoying that. Uh, and lastly, uh, the other Kickstarter that we did this year, so we're on number four already, um, was for an Eastern Front expansion to combat infantry. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I posted news about that. Yeah, and that is also getting very close to actual release. Uh, probably going to be into September, but uh, it's looking good. Uh, we've been having good results with the playtesting. Uh, so that's kind of what we're up to. If I uh, have a minute to say one more thing, especially here at Gen Con, I want to mention game the last spike which i reviewed that was the last game i reviewed for you yeah. guys you guys can dig up that review and, and read it and uh, and watch it uh, this is a mensa award-winning uh, train game it's our answer to ticket to ride which is what reason why i can't figure out you know because it was mensa right uh it's an easy family level game about uh, laying the trains across the country in the 1860s and it's loosely uh Play a track, in, invest in property, and hope that you've invested in the right property to uh, to get a payback. And play like that until the train tracks across the country, the transcontinental is complete, and then somebody wins, the one who's got the most money. So it's it's uh, it's that simple. That's largely the whole mechanics. Yeah, it's really easy to jump into. But what's kind of been special about this is that we found that just about anybody can play it. I've introduced this to all kinds of people who would not identify themselves as gamers, and they've really enjoyed it. And uh, that's refreshing. Yeah. 
It's also on sale right here at Gen Con for half price. But you won't be getting it for half price because you won't see this until after Gen Con. See, you blew it. Where the hell were you? They're Gen Can't. They're Gen Can't. Oh, sorry to hear that, guys. But uh, it's a great game. It's unavailable at ClumbyGames.com, Amazon, anywhere. Any final thoughts for the audience, Grant? I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the uh, opportunity to speak to the people. And uh, we'll just keep on doing this. Jeff, you've been reviewing our games for a while, and we're going to make sure that you get all the new ones and uh, keep that process going. Thank you. Grant, thanks for taking some time out. It's super busy here. Yeah, it is. It is. It's crazy busy, but it's a good, hectic, kind of a, a energizing feeling. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. You too. If you're ready for some more fun and you'd like to check out the latest episode of The Daily Dope, my live Monday through Friday show that airs at 7 p.m. Central right here on YouTube, click right here. And if you'd like to roll the dice and push your luck and see a randomly selected video from the channel, click right here. You pays your money, you takes your chances. Once again, I'm Jeff McAleer and thank you for watching.